A haunting presence darkens the night, with overcast suffocating the moon. But upon the streaks leaks erratic light, the bright blood dripping from an open wound. Reaching for the sky, those candles did crave to break through the glass and prolong their lives. Try as they might, it's so hard to be brave. As they stand still in fear, wax tears as they cried. And we died inside lamp posts, ourselves alone. We're all alone, atoned to it, but all polo pony phony. Your sweet gaze soured against the metal bones, super ferocious in its irony. As its last light flickered at dawn's break, the candles that passed made no more mistakes. All right, that was Died Inside Lampposts, a creepypasta, well, it's a poet, poet poem, but I guess you could call it a short creepypasta, written by Avenging Angel. My final thoughts on the story? Well, it was actually a pretty good poetry creepypasta, I can definitely say that. This is definitely one of the best ones that I've ever seen. I mean, it's short, in my all respect, I can do see that it's short. But, I mean, there are a few exceptions where I can make short pastas, you know, being good. But this one, honestly, this one was actually quite of a good story about lampposts. I mean, it has something to do with paranormal or maybe spirits, perhaps. But, in all due reality, this honestly is a pretty good good poetry pasta. Or creepy pasta, whatever you prefer to call it. Now, this story, I do remember he seen his narration by Deep Terror Tales, which, of course, this was uploaded seven years ago. But I thought, you know what? Maybe I should give it a go at this story. Now, this is a short story, I definitely have to say. It was definitely a short story. It was a fun little read. I thought, you know, it was a nice read to read, which was a nice change, which I honestly really enjoy. Now, what do I have to say? Well... The grammar was good, the sense structuring, the storyline, even though there wasn't really too much of a storyline, but it was still a pretty good poem. You know, it was pretty good for what it is, especially with something, you know, just as good as this story. I mean, this story was definitely fun to read. I actually had a lot of fun reading it. It was definitely one of those good stories out there. I mean, with all due reality... To the author of the story, you did a pretty good job. This was definitely a fun story, and I personally really enjoyed the story well written. Now, if there is anything negative I have to say about this story, well, to be honest, I can't really seem to think of anything negative with this story. I can't find anything that I did not like about this story. I thought it was a pretty good poem. It was well made and done. I mean, it actually feels creepy of its own self, but it's still a really amazing, well-made story. Like I said before, I'll leave a link in the description. I think I said that before, I did just now. But I'll leave the link in the description down below so you guys can go and check out that story if you're interested. It's a really good story, and I recommend you guys take a look at it, especially if you're into poetry. Now, like I said... This is just simply my own personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these creepy pastas. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. I give this story or poem a 10 out of 10. While it's a good story, I like the concept. It's a short story, but it's more of a poetry than ever, anything. Uh, the grammar was good. Sentence structure was good. Everything about it was just flat out amazing. And it was a really nice short story too. So I gotta give props to the author for making this a really good poem or story, whatever you prefer to call it. So anyways, what did you guys personally think of this creepypasta or poem? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done personally help make this story a lot better? Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you happen to be, you know, brand new here to the channel and uh, you want to, you're interested in following my media, 
Link to my DeviantArt is in the About page section, so you guys can go check out my DeviantArt page. Also, if you're interested in, sub in checking out my um, Twitter account, link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section. So you guys can go check that out if you're interested. Also, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo. Link to that will also be in the About page section. So you guys can go check out that channel on my backup if you haven't. So as always... If I'm missing something about this story or poem, whatever you prefer to call it, let me know what it is if I'm missing something. I think I got everything what I need to say about it, but if there's anything more that I forget, let me know what it is in the comments below. As always, I'm the Lion Queen, and like always, roll the outro, because I'm out.